A mansion built in 1929 got a makeover you have to see to believe. You might remember this home in the Fisher Park neighborhood of Greensboro. Last year it was featured in an episode of Hoarders on A&E. It was a disaster with rooms piled high with junk. For decades, the woman who lived there filled the 31 rooms with clutter. After the bank foreclosed on the house, one couple decided they wanted to restore it to its natural beauty. It took a lot of work from a lot of talented people. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty got a first look inside. Well, the process, it took a year and a half, plus a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. The new owners even had to help the previous owner move out of the house. Eric and Michael Fuca Rizzo knew it would be difficult, but it was even harder than they expected. So when we first purchased the home, uh, it, was, it was completely hoarded. The previous owner had just collected for probably the past 20 years and it was just kind of a catastrophe because honestly there's been a lot of times where it's been hard and you want to give up but to see the the response from the public it, it just it makes you feel so excited to be bringing this back to the community well that hard work it paid off tonight they opened the home to a private party kicking off a month-long open house Visitors can tour most rooms, each decorated beautifully by a different designer. The stylish touches highlight all of the work that was done here. We're going to be seeing a lot of history, a lot of charm, because we've really preserved pretty much everything that we could in the home. There were a few rooms that needed to be tweaked so that they were um, livable for today. Um, but for the most part, we really preserved as much as we could. Well, the pictures and the video really don't do it justice. You've just got to go see this for yourself. They offer full tours every day starting this Saturday and going through the end of the month. Tickets are $35 and benefit Preservation Greensboro.